basic witches coffee here and today we have a very special treat and i say we because this is actually a collaboration with Simarchy, and she does have a youtube channel as well as a twitch she's actually going to be debuting her half over on twitch if you are watching the live premiere of this video or if you're not uh she may still be live as well and the link will be down below for that and if you're here at the premiere i will put the link in chat for you i really want to go over and actually like I've never done a crossover raid between YouTube and Twitch, but I would really love to go and send you guys over there and kind of like a mini raid in a way to go and watch her build her portion of this live. Now, this is actually a community build, meaning that all of you guys, we challenge you to do this. There is a shell that Simarki herself made, and uh, this is exciting because this is the Zodiac Elements build challenge that we came up with together and basically what it entails like I said there's a shell up on the gallery that you guys can get I'll put all the information down below there will also be a blog post link down below if you want more extensive information on the Zodiac and how it correlates to the challenge and just all that good stuff so make sure you're checking out that below bar but um basically we are having you guys furnish a shell that she made and it's all based off of the zodiac to a degree so we have the elements fire earth water and air and basically you can kind of choose these keywords that we gave you that are all based off of zodiac traits for each of the elements if you guys didn't know every single zodiac sign of the 12 all have an element that correspond to them so for fire we have the kitchen and the patio that we want you guys to do for earth we have a bedroom and a study for water we have a bathroom and a pool area and for air we have the living room space and the greenhouse space that is on there so like i said there's a bunch of keywords involved and it's a good time so let's go ahead and get into at least speed build or decorate technically but i did do a little bit of alterations to mine so i guess there's like some building aspect to it but let's go ahead but uh here we are at the shell or the entire house and i went ahead and i actually started in the kitchen area you're gonna see me be very indecisive in this video because that's literally how i decorate and this was different than anything i had ever done before so basically the difference is I usually have like a house or a room or whatever I'm doing and it has like an overarching theme and this was difficult for me because every single room is a little bit different and it's portrayed to be a little bit different based on everything. So being that the kitchen is fire aspected and it's supposed to be more bright and fun colors, think the Leo bedroom in my Lunar Zodiac challenge that I have here on my channel. But basically I wanted a lot of bright colors, but this isn't even what I end up going with because I was like, oh, this is cute. And then you'll see what I end up with. But um, I thought I would go with an orange theme at first because you know, bright like the sun. It's like a Leo color and it just, I don't know, man. I feel like I have all these good intentions around kitchens sometimes and then I try to execute them and I'm just like, but why? <laughs> but why am I like this? So um, no, I actually think it turned out pretty cute. I'm actually pretty proud of how this house came together. But basically it's, I want to say I kept with like the orange appliances with everything. I did this, this decorate in a couple of different segments. So there's parts of it that I'm like, wait, what did I do? <laughs> um, and I ended up using like this, the stuff from the jungle adventure pack, because even though it's not as bright, I felt like the yellow ish countertop still worked for this. And I tried to keep things technically in the scheme of the entire challenge, but I also wanted things to feel homey and nice at the same time, which again was a big challenge for me. So I ended up going with this. You still see a lot of bright, fun colors with the orange and kind of, it's not like a bright, bright blue, but we still have the yellow aspect in there, the warm uh, wood tones in the flooring and it's, I don't know. I, I like how it came out. I thought it was, I thought it was pea cuties, you know? So I did actually make this into a dining area and kitchen because I wanted the living room space to be something a little bit more grand. And you'll see what I mean by that. But I did 
I did kind of put some seating in here and I added some pet supplies as well. If you have cats and dogs, that will work for you. If not on the gallery, things are removed if you don't have those packs. So it's not like a huge deal. Um, also side note, a lot of you guys in the last video were asking me about my beret. You were like, you look so French and cute. And the real story of it is, is I tried to cut my own bangs and I totally botched them. So bang wise, uh, my bangs are a hot mess right now. And you're probably going to be seeing this hat in multiple future videos, as well as a beanie that I wear religiously. So, um, be prepared for that to see a lot of uh, hats on me for a while because I'm just not confident in my messed up bangs. So here we are adding in the table again, trying to stick with that warm tones to everything. I kept that in mind when I was setting the table out because it's kind of a richer, warmer toned table. And then just adding in a little of the few extras, you know, I tend to be a very, very simple decorator. And I feel like people either love that or hate that about me because I just don't like a lot of clutter in my builds because I find, or in my decorates, I should say, I find that when there's a ton of clutter going on, I get very distracted by it and it's hard to actually view the Sims when you're filming videos. So I'm very particular about how I place things. So in the living room, we decided to go with this being very air aspected. And these are your signs that are Aquarius, which fun fact, a lot of people don't think Aquarius is an air sign because they are the water bearer, but nope, they're an air sign, true story. Um, so you have Aquarius, uh, who else? Aquarius. I think Aquarius is like my favorite air sign. That's why I always remember that. Oh, no, that's a lie. Gemini is actually my favorite. Uh, Aquarius, Gemini, and oh my gosh, who is the freaking other one? You guys are probably yelling at me right now in the chat if you're watching this live. Aquarius, Gemini, who is the other one? Holy crap. Um, I'm obviously forgetting somebody very important and I'm so sorry. It's Aquarius, Gemini, who comes after Gemini? It's not Cancer. Libra, how am I gonna forget a Libra? Libras are bae. Um, So those are your air signs. And the reason we decided to go with the living room is this is your common area where you're gonna be communicating with other people. And communication is very key for air signs. That's actually what they're known the most for is communication, especially Gemini, I would say is the most known for communication. That's why you're gonna see a lot of people on Twitch are actually Geminis. And a lot of people on YouTube are Geminis because being entertainers is easy for them. Um, so I did kind of put a little desk area in here. To me, it doesn't really fit in theme, but I wanted the house to have that because I actually feel like I would use this house. So, and like, to me, I think it would have been good to have a dining and living space in here, but beings that I already put it in the kitchen, I was like, meh, we're just going to go ahead and make this very livable and give a desk with a computer space. And basically the idea in this room is you know, the air, if you look at the challenge rules, this is all supposed to be very dreamy, pastel, kind of like flowy light colors and have a lot of excess light coming into the room. So I did go ahead and put in, I think a couple of extra windows into the room and there is a little yoga ish area that you'll see. And the reason I did that was because with air, excuse me, with air, uh, I wanted some little incense things around because that technically symbolizes air and fire to a degree. So I knew I wanted a little like wellness section for them. And that just made sense to me. I don't know. I feel like even though I'm not an air sign, like that just seems air sign appropriate. So this, I again, isn't even what I end up with. Like I said, you'll see me being very indecisive with a lot of these spaces because I'm not used to having to jump from one theme to the next. There's usually flow in an entire house, which I think that really could be achieved with these color schemes. I think I just wasn't doing it right or justice. But like I said, I really am happy with how the house came out and I could definitely see myself playing with this house because again, I don't like a lot of clutter and I feel like I really achieved that. So this wall, man, I had so many problems with this wall. I was like, maybe I'll just put some paintings back here. That will work. And then I decided that the space was way too open. And that was why I was like, nope, we're gonna fit a little yoga area back here. And I also put in the comedy stand or the microphone because again, with air signs and being very communicative, you know, microphone, it just made sense. And again, a lot of your air signs are going to be entertainers. I'm a Gemini moon myself, so it makes sense to me. Um, but. A 
lot of your air sign or heavily air sign aspected people are going to be in the realm of entertainment. Um, I know James Turner is a Gemini. If you guys are familiar with the Sim Supply, which you're living under a rock if you're not. Uh, Sim Marky, I believe, is actually an Aquarius. So I love an Aquarius. We stand an Aquarius in this channel. Um, technically, Taurus and Aquarius aren't really supposed to get along, but honest to God, my, one of my sisters that I probably talk to the most is the most Aquarius Aquarius person I've ever met in my life. Like she has like five or six placements in Aquarius. She has like her sun, her moon and her ascending are all Aquarius, which I've never seen that before. And then I want to say she's also a Venus and like Mercury in Aquarius. So most Aquarius Aquarius I've ever met. It's pretty incredible. And she's incredible. Cammy, if you're watching this video, shout out. She's my other ginger sister. Um, other, I mean, she's my only ginger sister because I'm the other one, <laughs> but I added some mirrors in because that's really important when you are doing yoga, you want to make sure your forms are really correct before anything else. Staying in the realm of air sign, I decided to go outside and immediately jump into the greenhouse because I feel like that really helps me when I'm in the mindset of decorating a specific space because they were in the same theme. I was like, okay, I can go and do this. I've actually never done a greenhouse in anything I've ever done. My spaces have never had greenhouses except for technically the princess games had a greenhouse, but I didn't build that house, nor did I decorate the greenhouse. So this was really interesting for me. I'm excited to see how Simarchy and how you guys actually end up doing this because I feel like I've never really seen anyone do this. I've never, what, like, I'm, I know people do this, but I've never actually seen it for myself. So this was like new territory for me completely. And I put in one of the floral crafting tables as well as a few planter boxes because I really wanted this to feel like an aspect where somebody who loves plants could come in and really care for their plants. I did have a lot of trouble with how open the window space was. Like I wanted to hang things on the window, even though I felt like that was really unrealistic. Um, but I feel like the space is definitely functionable. Functionable? Is that even a word? It's definitely functioning. It could function for a Sim who loves gardening. Um, and you know, just, just doing the plant things. Who doesn't love that? So yeah, see, I even tried to like raise up the hedges to cover it, but like that also takes out the sunlight except for the roof. So like, why would I do that? That this is probably my favorite part of the build that I did in its entirety. And that is the pool space. I based this very heavily after Scorpio. Scorpio to me is very sensual, very dark brooding. Um, a lot of people don't like Scorpios. I don't, I have like a love hate relationship with Scorpios to be honest with you. Like I think out of all the Scorpios I know, there's not a single one that I'm like, oh, I hate you. I don't hate people anyways, but they are very complicated signs. Like they are very dark, brooding, sensual, um, sexy, passionate, but it's hard to get them to crack like emotionally. And that was something I learned this year. I actually didn't know that. I was like, they're water signs. They're supposed to be emotional, um, but they are very guarded with their emotions and you will not see them just crack open for you. So I really wanted to keep this as like a sexy place beings that the pool was water sign aspected. So I wanted this space to be very sexy and sensual and um, especially the spa, because you guys know that we have woohoo available in the spa. So again, keeping with that passionate, sexy, sensual theme. Um, I actually, I've done this in one other build that I've done before, but it's been like since The Sims 4 came out or whenever we got hot tubs, I don't think they originally came. So whenever we got hot tubs, I had done this once before. It might've been with vampires, but basically I put like this railing around the spa, probably unrealistic. People probably don't do this, but I put curtains up because I wanted it to be like a private place at the same time. Like I've seen spas above ground spas or hot tubs that have uh, gazebos over them. Definitely have seen that before, but I've never seen one with like sexy curtains. So obviously sticking with a red and black theme, again, very sensual colors, very dark and mysterious and lots of red candlelight, things like that. Um, I honestly love the way this space came out. As you guys can see, I am not someone who does a lot of landscaping and you will not see me landscape this house because that's just something that like I never have learned how to do appropriately. And hopefully 
hopefully in a future collaboration that you'll know about soon enough, uh, I will get a little bit more into it. That's something I actually felt bad about looking back on this build. I was like, man, I did like no landscaping. What was I thinking? So I felt like it was a little lazy on my part and I should have gone back and done it. So when you guys see this house on the gallery, I may go back and touch those things up. Uh, unfortunately, I just did not have time. I'm going on like a mini vacation when this video goes up, but I will be at the premiere, obviously, because I'm here right now. Um, so moving into the house, we're going up into the bedroom slash study slash bathroom. So the bathroom space I based heavily off of cancer in the Zodiac because cancer signs are, uh, silver and like a light minty greeny color. So just simple in there, very basic, very clean. It was a small space. I didn't want to go nuts. And of course for the bedroom, because it's earth sign aspected, I wanted something that really spoke to Taurus because I am a Taurus. Um, obviously do whatever signs really call to you. And again, there will be information on my blog more about that. So you guys can kind of get a feel of what you want to do. It's your choice. But um, I just kind of added a lot of bookcases and ki kind of tried to turn it into more of a study area as well as a bedroom, which I think honestly dream bedroom goals. Um, I also went ahead and put some chairs and a little table in here because again, I wanted this to be a space where um, an earth sign could come to kind of retreat from the rest of the house, retreat from all the backyard space, because I feel like this house with all of its characteristics and interesting dynamics going on with all the different like types of elements and zodiac signs present, I feel like this house really would be like a party house. So you'll see what I mean when we get to like the patio stuff. But um, moving outside, I believe we are going into the patio area. Again, this is part of the fire aspects. Uh, fire signs are going to be your Leos, your Aries, and your Sagittarius. Um, Sagittarius, probably my favorite fire sign, but I'm biased. That's my ascending sign. Um, we stand a Sag. <laughs> um, but I did something really small on the back deck. I just wanted a grill with a little bit of seating, nothing too fancy. I feel like I do a little bit more in the front of the house for this. Um, I just knew I wanted fire aspects obviously included for this. And so I put fire everywhere that I could. Um, uh, the tiki bar probably would have been a good addition to this. If you guys are thinking about your build, the tiki bar would probably be good because it blows fire, I believe. Um, going up into the patio area, I went ahead and added a little fire pit up to the top right there by the window. Again, this is why I feel like this house really would be a party house. And, um... I do, I do. I just like it, when I actually pushed play on this game to get some pictures, her neighbors came over and we're having a splendid time partying it up at the house. I can't believe I invited the neighbors in, to be honest. That's something I like never do in game, but it was chill. No worries on that. Um, I think everybody had a nice time just adding in some extra little things. I didn't know what to do with this space. I was like, what am I supposed to do with all of this extra like space coming into the house? So I made sure that I added a lot of seating and a lot of nice places because that's just me. That's how I would want to live if I had this house is I'm such an outdoorsy person, love sitting outside with a good view. So I wanted to really bring that aspect into this. And again, sticking with kind of fiery, bright themed colors. Um, it just, I don't know. I really like how it came together. I think I pulled it off. Um, I anticipate that Simarki is probably going to do a better job and I'm, she is a master, wonderful, incredible builder. So make sure you guys head on over to her channel and again I'll put all those links down below and if you miss her stream um, as soon as there is a VOD available or a past broadcast I will make sure to link that down below instead so you guys can watch that if you're seeing this video later but again please make sure you head over there the link is in the chat if you're here at the premiere and if not it will be down below along with all of her social medias and her YouTube channel she's an insanely amazing builder so you will not want to miss this and um, again peep the blog if you want to do this for yourself I would love to see your guys' creations. Send them to me over on Twitter. Tag me. There is a hashtag that we are going to be using for this that will be down below. And uh, guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Twitch. All of those links are also down below, as well as my blog, Cozy Kale, where this is going to be. Make sure that you guys are also tuning into the Twin Flames podcast. It's on nine different platforms. Me and my twin flame and best friend actually run this podcast, and we really think we're making some quality stuff. So if that's something that interests you, the link is down 
below. This week's episode coming out today, it's already out, is all about setting New Year's resolutions and how you can set New Year's resolutions that will last for you. And uh, yeah, all those links are going to be down below. I will see you guys in a future video. This is Coffee signing off. Bye, you guys. Bye.